I'm assuming you opened up Rhino and your window should look something like this. And what I want to do is go over the kind of main topics of how this display is organized. At the very, very top, you have the title bar, which has kind of major macro tool sets. Um, so you're probably familiar with things that look like this in other softwares. Then you have the command line, something maybe is new to you. Uh, usually you type in commands in here. For example, if you want to draw a line, you just come up here, type the command line, and you'll have these different commands. The simple uh, line command is just line, and you can drag from one point to the next and create a line. And we'll get to that later. The next is a uh, more visual menu, and you could see that there's these tabs that you can scroll through that do different things. And once you hover over something, it tells you what that specific command does. Now, the main one we'll use is standard usually. Actually, typically I don't ever touch these, but they're there if you want them. For example, save is right here, right? So you could save that very simply. So to the left-hand side, you have a set of geometry tools. And so if you wanna draw a rectangle, go ahead and select one corner, drag it to the next. You have a flat rectangle. Then you have a three-dimensional object like a cube, right? Um, and so that's simple. Just gonna go ahead and delete that. And there are other useful tools up here. You can also type these things in here. For example, if you wanna type rectangle, you'll see it comes up like that and it's the same exact tool. Okay, moving on. To your right, you have another very, very important set of windows that is controlled by tabs. The first two are the most important. This one is layers. You can see by hovering over it says layers. The next one is properties. Um, and I'll go over probably what this is later, but the main one we're going to focus on, especially for assignment one, is layers. Okay, so you have a default layer, which is checked. You can check it off by going, say, I want layer one to be the primary layer. You can check that, and then layer two, check that. And you can also hide these things, and I'll show you what that means in a little bit. Okay, and what it means, uh, what it means to be checked is if I draw, for example, a rectangle here, it's set to that layer. So if I went and said, this is the primary layer and draw another rectangle. That's the other layer. And so I can go ahead and hide layer one and that rec first rectangle will disappear, right? And then say I make this the main layer. I can hide layer one and layer default. And I could simply go to this cube, which if you hover over this thing, you can't really see, actually you have to pull this out a little bit and you'll see that, uh, let's move this a little bit like that. You'll see that's color. So you can kind of move these things. Once you get this arrow, it shows you two sides. You can kind of move these things. Same thing with this menu right here. And same thing with a lot of these other um, bars. Okay, so if you change the color here, click it, and you can say it's going to be red. Move this over. You'll notice that now it turned red. Now, at the very bottom, you have uh, different types of snaps. We'll talk about that in a second. Right above that, you have uh, different views. Uh, you'll see that if I click top, this got selected, this kind of top view got highlighted. Same thing with front and right. So if you were to double click the top view, which uh, maybe showing you a three dimensional thing, so the perspective is three dimensional here. If I draw something three dimensional, uh, you'll notice that if you zoom out here, that's this object by selecting, it, you'll see it's highlighted. And so if I double click on perspective, it becomes the main menu. You don't have the four windows anymore. And if I double click it again, I get the four windows. So double click perspective, and then if I go to top, I'll go to the top view, front tab will take me to the front view, and so on and so forth. So I'll double click that to get the four views again. And at the very bottom, you'll see the coordinates right here. At the very bottom, they're changing. You see X, Y, and Z is not moving, obviously. At the very bottom as well, you see it's in millimeters, which is not the right units we need to be in. Well, I'll show you how to change that in a bit. And then you have layer two is the active layer, which it is. So you have to just change that. It'll show you what color it is. And I'll say the name of the layer that's activated. And then you have grid snap, ortho, planar, O snap, snap track, some other stuff. Gumball is very useful. If you click it, then you can kind of just move your object around just by dragging the arrows. Very easy. You don't need that on though. Um, o snap, it allows you to snap on points. And what that means is Let's say I wanted to move this thing. Actually, let's say I wanted to copy it. You just type in the command bar, copy. Again, this might be a new feature for you that you're not familiar with using a command bar. Click copy, and so it says point to copy from. You're going to need to just click a point. See how I'm getting this end point? That's because my snap is turned on to end. Say I wanted to turn on a midpoint. I want to snap from a mid. I click mid. Click that, and now I can snap from a midpoint. And you can see that it's coming in a diagonal, and it's not what we call orthographic. If I click shift, hold shift down, it turns to a straight line. Now, additionally, if you wanted to just always have that, you click this ortho at the very bottom. It will also always be an ortho. 
But if you click Shift now, you'll break the ortho. And that's the preferred way of working usually. So I'm just going to click that and move it over. Click Escape to get out of the command. Okay. And usually what you'd want turned on is End, Mid, uh, Intercept, and Perp is probably the most useful ones. If you want to disable them for some strange reason, you click Disabled like this. You see they're all grayed out. Or you could just turn off O Snaps, which does the same thing. We'll click that on. Additionally, you could turn on Grid Snaps. What that's going to do is going to snap, let's say I type Move going to snap onto the grid there is a grid uh that you kind of see if you zoom in there's these grids right here it's just snapping to the grid so if you come down vertically you'll see it's also snapping to this light gray grid so it, it is useful to do that at times sometimes it's not but for now we're going to keep that turned on and that pretty much covers the basics of the user interface and the basic commands